Thank you. I really this is the closing night of CBGB's gallery. I want to honor this sacred hall of resistance by rallying the troops against a gentrifying herd turning NYC into a corporate theme park. But there are no troops to rally. And if there were troops, we'd have to attack ourselves. Because when you get past the hipster packaging, we're just yuppies without the cash. <laughs> Going to Burning Man, masturbating to anime, and voting Democrat doesn't make you different from Todd, Ashley, and their future banker in the baby stroller. Looking radical, but being apathetic makes you a poser. Doing art for commerce makes you a sellout, and acting smug and pretentious about cultural bullshit makes you an asshole. Hi. My name's Jason. I'm <laughs> Jim Shit Bill. You think it matters to a Puerto Rican which version of Whitey moves into the hood? Why should anybody fucking care that you can't afford your apartment in the city? What have you done to anyone to make anyone give a shit that you lost your apartment to a stockbroker or your favorite cafe got replaced by a 7-Eleven? Hipsters are to gentrification what fluffers are to the porn biz. We get the area ready for the big pricks to come in and blow their load. We make everything cute and furry. <laughs> our communities, our culture, our country, and our world is being exterminated. And what's been our response? We've run from the challenge and regressed into adolescence. Oh, the joy of being around a 35-year-old who acts more smug and sullen than my 12-year-old cousin. Oh, the joy of hanging around with a 34-year-old who talks constantly about cartoons. Oh, the wonder of pretending that the world doesn't exist. Out of, out, 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 ah. The world doesn't exist outside our kickball scene. Oh, the fabulousness of sarcasm as we step over a homeless man on our way into the book lunch party. We are at the end of a cycle. We're imitating people and things that happened 40 and 50 years ago. Hipster culture today is harmless culture. And that's the epic tragedy because being hip used to mean that you were heroic and dangerous. That you waged war on the soullessness and greed through art and resistance. That you were passionate and not afraid to show it. Being hip meant that you were dirty, you had sex in dirty bathrooms and wanted upheaval in society. Being hip meant being revolutionary. It meant being intense lower class, not detached upper class. And now hipsters have succumbed to the fear and apathy, same as the rest of this stupid fucking country. Now we hide in safe and exclusive MFA programs rather than staying on the outside and creating art that speaks to the disenfranchised streets. Now we wear t-shirts that indirectly mock and in a thrice removed way comment on the gentrifying SUV driving consumer capitalist heavy pigs rather than driving home the streets with a banner that says, go fuck yourselves, you sold out scum. Get out of our neighborhoods. You make everything boring and ugly. I question what economic class, the subculture, comes from these days. Because the first thing you learn in the lower class is that if you don't stand up and fight, then you get beat down and shut up. That if you choose smug bullshit over passion and sincerity, you get slapped and pushed around. That if you choose trivial abstractions over serious thought and action, then you get marginalized. And that when you do get evicted and dispossessed, then you yourself will be divisioned. I fuck up that line so terribly. But it's beyond repair. <laughs> Be able to stand up and defend those things that are important to you 
then those things uh, get co-opted and destroyed. Look at tonight. This is at CBG. He's back on right this. This isn't a metaphor. You don't have to draw inferences or study media ecology to see what's going down. This is the death of hallowed ground. I got off the Greyhound bus from Albuquerque in 88. Walked straight from Port Authority with my taped up suitcase. Scored a hit acid. And sat around right there in front of the strip that 4. 4 a.m. Shit face sculptor from the Rivington School. <laughs> and I could see come to their party, crash on the floor. This is where Richard Hell and Joey Ramone took on the man. The punk rock values that came out of CBGB's made me who I am. And now it's gone. One more chunk of our lives headed down to the bourgeois pieces of shit who think rebellion is doing a line of blow in the bathroom on a Friday night. They say the 60s exploded because the draft directly affected its youth. Doesn't losing our living spaces, our jobs, our venues, our communities, our culture, and our identity directly affect us? What are we clinging on to here? Was it your dream to be a temp worker in the financial district, taking the train in from Edison, New Jersey, every day because the what's the what's the of Edison here, like some kind of bullshit, like oh. internet bullshit thing, like uh, was it your goal in life to collapse on the couch and watch TV every night because the day kicks your ass so hard? Was this how you envisioned your life? Did you ever think you'd be here at the closing of CBGB's? I'm sorry, is that closing? But what's it going on for you to mobilize? What's it going to take for us to engage? And I'm not talking about endless, boring collectives and lame-ass political correctness because that kind of uptight political activism and bullshit has reached its end as well. I'm talking about getting brutally weird again. I'm talking yeah. about doing art that's beyond co-op, co-optation. <laughs> I'm talking about forging new myths. I'm talking about creative resistance that scares the shit out of rich robots, sex in the city slaves, stockbrokers, cultural gatekeepers, and the pigs in fucking power. I'm talking about dangerous expression that don't make Todd and Ashley think long and hard about moving into the hood and exposing their little banker to the new hip warriors of the American night. Yeah!